and welcome to the Rescue Report. We have an exciting addition this week. We will be talking to a special surprise guest. We will get to that interview in a moment. But first, as the 2021 session of the Kentucky General Assembly draws to a close, I want to say thank you to all of you who have supported the effort to get rescue animals named as the state pet of Kentucky. We may not have been completely successful this year, but we did successfully get a resolution passed on the Senate floor urging Kentuckians to adopt rescue animals. That is progress. We will be back next year fighting to get rescue animals the recognition they deserve. If And if it doesn't pass in 2022, we will try again. Thank you to all of you who signed the petition and a huge thank you to Senator Adrian Southworth and Senator Chuck Embry for introducing the bill and Todd Blevins, the Kentucky Director of the Humane Society of the United States for being such a huge help. You're an amazing advocate for anim- for the animals. Next year, we've got this. And on to our big story. You know him as the adorable dog that suffered horrible mistreatment and nearly died. In January, the world fell in love with Ethan the dog and cheered for him as he fought incredible odds to become a survivor and a canine hero for all of us. He did this with the help of his amazing team at the Kentucky Humane Society and the love of his new family. Everyone worked so hard, but Ethan the dog, most of all, had the huge honor of standing down and talking with Ethan and his new dad, Jeff. The first one is, how long have you fostered animals for the Kentucky Humane Society? Uh, Really just for a short period of time. I've worked for the Humane Society for four years, and we fostered a a couple different animals. Um, Ethan was really our first fail, uh, and which was a fail in the best sense of the word because he's just the best little dog. (laughs) What made you decide to foster animals? Uh, you see, you know, especially working at the Kentucky Humane Society, you see so many shelter animals that need homes. Uh, you see so many uh, uh, mistreated animals that need some help. And so, you know, some of those animals do so much better out of the shelter and in someone's home until they can find their forever home. So it's just a, a, you know, a really good thing for people to do is to bring animals into their home, get them healthy, get them adjusted to a lifestyle at home, and then they, they get adopted out to their forever home. And what did you think when you first met Ethan? Uh, honestly, I, I, I didn't know that he was going to make it. He was in really bad shape. And uh, I didn't know that he was going to make it, but from the first time I saw him, I I knew that I was going to do anything that I could possibly do to help him out. And Ethan is such a great dog. What do you think uh, attracts people to Ethan? That's a good question. I I don't know what made his story so popular. The thing I think that attracts people to him once they meet him is that he's so friendly and he's so lovable and he just loves to to meet everybody that he sees. He loves other dogs. He loves other people. Uh, And so and and I think when people see him physically, he's a really pretty dog and people sometimes I think are attracted to that. And so they see him and they get interested and then they want to meet him and then he wants to love on him and he wants to drool on him. And uh He's just a funny dog. At what moment did you decide to adopt Ethan that he had a forever home? Uh, Once, you know, when I first saw him, I knew I wanted to do whatever I could for him. Um, But it had to be in his best interest. So as much as I loved him, he still had to feel at home around our, our other dogs and feel at home inside of our house. And once we brought him home and he just fell right into place, 
we knew right then that we wanted to do what we could to try to adopt him and make him a permanent member of our family. So what advice do you have for kids who want to grow up and help foster animals for the Kentucky Man Society? Uh, continue to uh, stay active and uh, learn about uh, shelter work and learn about fostering, uh, learn about uh, uh, some of the laws in Kentucky. Uh, but when you have an opportunity, when you're old enough, then you go and you can volunteer there and you can help uh, walk dogs and you can help clean up after dogs and help feed them. Uh, and, you know, once you get into it, I think you'll, you'll have a love for it. But uh, if you're a young person, uh, you know, stay connected, uh, learn about dogs, learn about uh, uh, everything that you can that you can think of and then start and, and start looking out for for animals and uh, learn how to take care of animals and take in animals. Uh, and it's really a very rewarding place to work. Uh, you know, a lot of people say to me, I don't think I could do that seeing all those animals every day, you know, but it's almost the opposite for me because the animals that I see that are up for adoption or they're in foster care are going to good homes. So I know that they're, they're, they have good futures ahead of them. So that's a happy ending. And some of the work that our vet team does, uh, I know a lot of those happy endings like Ethan. So uh, I'm very encouraged by it. And I, and I encourage people to, to get into that kind of work. And what do you think will happen next to Team Ethan? Well, Team Ethan right now is uh, we are, you know, continuing to do his uh, some uh, updates on his Facebook page and Instagram. Uh, kind of, uh, I don't necessarily call them updates anymore. It's it's more like snippets of his life and his day and what's going on with him. Uh, but the other thing I want to do is continue to keep his face out there because uh his story right now he's healthy he's happy his story needs to change from a story of of surviving into a story of bringing awareness to other animals that need help whether they're mistreated or they're in the shelter but i, I want his his story to continue to be bringing awareness to other shelters and other animals Thank you so much, Jeff and Ethan. You're truly an inspiration for us all. Our featured dog of the week is the marvelous Mabel. Mabel has been at the Franklin County Humane Society for almost a year and a half. Mabel is a three-year-old pit bull mix. She loves children but likes to play rough, so she would probably be best in a home with older kids. Mabel loves to be active, run and play. She would be great in a home with an outdoors loving family that will take her hiking or running. Mabel does not like cats or small animals. Mabel has spent over half her life at the shelter. In April 2021, she will have been at the shelter one year and a half. It's time for Mabel's story to have a happy ending. Contact the Franklin County Humane Society at 502-875-7297 or visit fchsanimals.org. Good girl, stay. Good girl. That's a good Mabel. Mabel's so good. Hi, baby. <laughs> Mabel, sit. Good, sit. Good girl. Yeah. Go play. Where's that toy? Huh? Where's your toy? 
It's over here. Girl, you're so pretty, Mabel. Hi. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I will see you next week when we talk about what to look for in a pet rabbit and why you probably shouldn't rush out to buy one for Easter. Until that time, remember, peace, love, adopt. See you next week. Bye!